Little Pigs is a Type B124 folktale in the Thompson Motif Index. It's quite old, but its most popular version was first printed in English fairy tales by Joseph Jacobs in 1890. And in my opinion, that makes it outdated as hell. Not to mention the lesson it teaches might as well be, hey, do a crap job, who cares, you can just mooch off your engineer friends. So today, I will not only be modernizing the story, I will also transform it to fit this episode's topic, strongest materials and structures, and how to destroy them. Let's start with the original three piggies. The first piggy makes a house out of straw. The wolf huffs and puffs and breaks the house down. Obviously, I don't need to explain why a house that has the structural integrity of a vegan menu didn't work out for the piggy. Next. The second piggy builds its house out of twigs and wood. Realistically, the wolf can't huff and puff this one away. However, just like that new Timu swimsuit you ordered, this house is highly flammable, and I'd say it's a step above only because the end result is definitely not on the vegan menu. Next, third pig thinks he's a big shot, building a house out of bricks. But society has progressed past the need for bricks. All the wolf needs is a drill, a hammer, and a chisel. On to the next generation. The fourth pig, after a brief memorial service for its three brothers, gets to building its own house. Only problem is, this piggy lives on the edge of a cliff. It only has one square meter to work with. So it borrows some galvanized steel rods from its aunt, makes a purchase of some eco-friendly plywood, and digs up some nuts and bolts from the actual ground to make an absolutely impossible and ridiculous structure at the edge of the cliff. I'm sorry, I just had I just have to include this. The fifth piggy saw all this and decided to just go ahead and use concrete. Reinforce the house with carbon steel, make a roof out of fiber cement. Sounds good. Only problem, the concrete was setting too fast. What? Why is it setting so fast? Well, little did this piggy know that the wolf used to be part of a large-scale eco-terrorism group in the 70s. And he knows that adding enough sugar to cement makes it harden within minutes and makes it more brittle long term. Either way, a hydraulic breaker can do the huffing and puffing for him. Next, the sixth piggy is one with nature. It wants to use only biomaterials for its home. So it gets bitten by a radioactive Darwin's bark spider, becoming spider pig, beholder of the second strongest biomaterial on earth. And why not the actual strongest? Well, because weird clam pig doesn't have the same pop culture ring spider pig does. Anyways, while this piggy silk has a higher compressive strength than cement and is actually stronger and more durable than Kevlar, it's nothing so fur cast it can't take care of. Next, the seventh piggy shrinks itself to a molecular size and encases itself in molten glass to be rapidly cooled and turned into what we know as Prince Rupert's Drop or Dutch Tears. You've seen the videos too, right? Let me explain them. See, unlike water, but like most liquids, glass doesn't expand when it becomes a solid. It shrinks in a very cool way when done fast. The outer layer of this glass tadpole cools immediately. So as the inner liquid layer cools, it shrinks while pulling the outer one. So the outside of the drop is under massive compressive stress, which would get rid of small gaps making the whole thing very resilient to fracture. Meanwhile, the inner layer is under tensile stress which is the opposite and we'll get to that in a minute because the wolf has seen the videos too and knows the weak spot is the tail. When damaged, it releases all the stored energy, making the whole thing explode in a chain reaction. Wow! This is a good time to say no piggies in this story will be building their house out of diamonds, because diamonds are very brittle, more brittle than cement. They are, yes, the hardest naturally occurring material, but have low toughness. Hardness is how resilient a material is to changing its shape when force is applied. Strength is how stretching something is essentially, and toughness is the amount of energy something can absorb before fracturing. Also, while on the topic of glass, there's already a glass hardened in diamond anyway. But we're looking at all the stats here, and that's why it's really hard for the piggies to find something that can't be destroyed, because things that can withstand compression can't withstand tension. That being said, the eighth piggy uses a material known as palladium microalloy glass, because it's a millionaire, I guess. Like I said, toughness and strength are usually mutually exclusive properties. The wolf can pull apart a block of concrete in his hands, while Kevlar isn't very strong, but it's very ductile. But forget about those, because this class is both stronger and tougher than steel. The amount of force it can withstand is significant, and it doesn't crack, it bends. Too bad it has around the same melting point as steel though. Next, the ninth piggy made its house out of self-assembling nanospheres. Nanoscale building blocks made out of carbon organizing into order structures that can self-heal on impact. Now that should be impenetrable. The technology is not quite there yet. 
to self-assemble building blocks into well-organized constructs depends on the ability to control their size, shape, and surface properties to a high level of perfection. In the 2025 rendition of The Three Little Piggies, this house's metastate is still completely unstable. Next. The tenth piggy is a smartass. It placed itself in a cardboard box with a device that may or may not end its life, becoming Schrodinger's pig. How would you eat something that is and isn't at the same time? Huh? Well, the wolf is not swayed by the pig's quantum superposition because it's inside a simple cardboard box after all. <laughs> Next. The eleventh little piggy uses graphene to build its home. 200 times stronger than steel, harder than diamond, and it's only one atom thick. Piggy should have added it to concrete. Next, the twelfth little piggy isn't fooling around, okay? It builds its house out of the literal heart of a neutron star. Born out of immense compression, it is billions of times stronger than steel, and... Side note, yes, Uru Metal is technically not a fictional material, it's a hypothetical one. First fought up in the 80s and recently given an image and nickname thanks to detailed computer simulations. You can guess the name by the look of it, really. Nuclear freaking pasta. Fourth Hammer just got way cooler and way lamer at the same time. Finally, the 13th Piggy. It realizes that nothing in the universe could possibly be strong enough to protect it from the wolf at this point. Well, maybe one thing. Friendship. The piggy goes to the wolf thinking he might be lonely, spending all his time destroying piggy's homes, huffing and puffing and little pig, little pig let me in. So he tells the wolf, I would like to be your friend wolf, will you let me in? And the wolf replies, oh I will, just sit quite still. <laughs> I'll bite the fucking ears on my chinny chin chin. So children, the real lesson of this story is nothing is stronger than the natural order forged by evolution. Cue green jelly for the three seconds that YouTube allows. <laughs> that would be all. This was so stupid, but I had to do it before Disney gets its hands on it, hires some actors that don't even want to be in the movie and makes the pigs photorealistic 3D models that look like they also don't want to be in the movie, followed by pandering a monologue that's the word list equivalent of a fart cloud and a lesson that's overplayed on the nose. You see this, Disney? This is cinematography. This is what the people want. You're too scared to hire me for I will put you to shame. I think they probably had too much gamer subs called Poopy for 10% off. Also, thank you for watching the videos and welcome to all the new viewers. Okay, bye.